Okay, welcome to another episode of my tutorials and in this one we're gonna be looking at, as you guys voted, Pigs' outro solo, the studio version. So for the cover I've actually used EMG pickups and my Red Strat. This guitar was in my studio at the time so I used that. Actually that was an amazing tone. If you're interested in that just go to my Patreon. There are tone guides, tabs, backing tracks. I mean for five bucks there are like literally tons of content there. And of course you can vote for the next tutorial. So this song is actually on E minor pentatonic. <laughs> You're gonna be picking your 15 and catching your 12 on high E and release and then we're gonna do a series of this. You hear that? Just like this. This is the starting. I highly recommend you use your tremolo here just for the vibrato because you can't vibrate your 12th string but you need to. After you do this a couple of times, then you're gonna be moving up a full step. Okay. And we did that a couple of times, uh, just listen to the song and play for the backing track. Backing track is available at my Patreon. After we do this uh, two times and we're gonna bend it three more times but like this. Okay. Okay. Okay, so for the next part, I want you to use your uh, pointy finger and cover 12 on high E and B string, but mute everything else. You hear? And then catch the 15th on high E. And then do the same thing again, but bend a full step. Of course, don't ever forget the vibrato. Okay, then... You hear this? Just a minute. This is my edition, I don't know, I'm just, I got used to this. But it sounds awesome, doesn't it? It's better than... Okay. Okay, just a mini band. So we're gonna slide up the 17 and bend it full step and then do the same thing for the 19 but full and a half step. Okay. Okay, let's play everything from the start. So this is the first bend. Then we're gonna do the couple of series. Okay. Of course, without distortion, when you slide, you're gonna lose some frequency. But with the distortion and delay and everything, this slide is gonna be fuller. Full and a half step, then a little vibrato, and pull off to 70. Okay. Okay. Now a series of pull-offs starts here. We're gonna be pulling off to 15 and then we're gonna pick 17 and bend just a little and we're gonna continue. You see? Okay. 
17, 15, 14, 15, 14, 12, 14, 12, and bend. And then you're gonna be catching your 12 on high E, catching the 12, then 15 to 12 on B string. Then you're gonna be catching your 14, but just a mini bend. Okay. So let's play everything from the top slow and fast, and we're gonna continue with part two. This is the first bending. Okay, we did that a couple of times, and then... Don't forget to just do a, a mini bend here. This is actually G. You hear this? Just a mini. Okay, just this. All right, let's play it a little faster and continue. So the second part starts like this. So you're gonna be sliding up to 14. And then you're gonna catch the 12 on G string. And then a quick hammer on and pull off. Actually not hammer on, just pull off from 14. And then you're gonna do a mini bend here. Okay, so this is a very angry and aggressive part of the solo. You're gonna be catching 15th on, uh, what is this, B string? You're gonna pick this one time, and then you're gonna do a double bend. This is double bend, right? You're gonna be picking with your 14th fret on G, both of them. I got used to this with my ring finger on here, and my middle finger on here. I actually, I do everything here, like uh, yet another movie too. Uh, this is how I got used to this, with my uh, ring finger and my middle finger. But you may very well use your pinky and your ring finger like this. Actually, this is how David Kimmer plays it too. But this is just how I got used to it. And then we're gonna release. Then we're gonna do a pre-bend. And then catch the 12th. But we're gonna do a pull-off, not... You hear? Just like this. Let's play that. Just a little vibrato. And then we're gonna be picking the 12 and do a quick hammer on off love. Okay. Okay. A little rotor. Just a quick hammer on a pull off to 14. And here you're gonna slide up to 10, but uh, without picking. Just play this with me just a couple of times. Okay, very easy, just I want you to practice this and let's play part two a little slow.
Okay, I'm gonna play this fast and we're gonna continue with part three. Okay, so part three is not very clear on original recording, so I improvise here just a little. I encourage you to do the same, but this starts like this. Okay, just very quick hammer-ons and pull-offs. And then we're gonna be sliding up the fourth. And then catch the third on B string. Then we're gonna pick fifth fret on B string, but we're gonna do quick pull-offs from three to zero. I want you to do... You can just do like this too, which is not the correct way. You hear? You hear? This is not as good as it. I want you to just... With the side of your finger, look at my fingers, jeez. With the side of your finger, I want you to just... I want you to practice this again. Okay. So let's play this. Then we're gonna be sliding up the 12 from G string, 2 from G string. And when we continue, we're gonna play this. Just do a little. This is actually just to fill in the bars. Like I said, I can't hear clearly how David Gilmore plays, so I add my just mini stuff that I do. And I don't wanna send you empty handed, so I need to show you a little fill ins that I do. So let's play from the top. Now the new part. You hear? I encourage you to play your own style here. Like I said, it's not very clear how David Kimmer plays it. Well, maybe it is clear, but I didn't understand. Still, this sounds awesome too. And as we continue, we are going to be sliding up to 9th on G string. And then catch 8 and 10. And do a quick pull off from 10. Which goes like this. You hear that? Okay. And then without waiting anything, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna be sliding up to 14, and we're gonna use the same thing with 12 and 15. This is again just a fill-in, I'm not very sure how David Kimmer plays here, but I hear a little... But I hear a little shred, so I wanted to do something like this. This is not shred, by the way, you can do probably better than me, this is very easy. Okay, let's play from the top. And when you end this, we're gonna continue with this part. Okay, so for the next part, I want you to use your pointing finger and uh, cover both strings, both high E and B strings on 12th string, and I want you to mute everything else. And I want you to use your ring finger on the 15th to pull off. And I want you to do this four times. And for the fifth part, we're gonna be bending 15 a full step.
And then we're gonna pick the 15th. Just a little vibrato. Then we're gonna catch the 14th. Then we're gonna do it just a half step bend. And then we're gonna pop the 12th again. Okay, this is very actually easy. We did this with slide and everything, right? So you know the basics. Okay, just going down to E minor pentatonic. So let's play from the start. Now you're just gonna slide up to 14. Okay. Okay. Again, a little slow. 14. Again, don't forget to just... Not like... But a little... So before we continue, I just want you to do a little, just a little break. Now. You see? Now the new part. Just very simple, bend on 15, a full step, okay. And for the fourth time... Original lick here. We are just on 14, 15, and 14 on uh, orderly high E, B, and G strings. I don't recommend you play like everything. Uh, don't let this ring. I want you to practice this because with a distortion and delay, uh, it's gonna get. Uh, a little chaotic and if that's what you want okay but if you want to sound a little cleaner I want you to lift your finger after you pick them but of course there is a pattern here okay this is the last thing we did And now, on the fourth one, this is the first, second, third, and fourth. And for this one, we're gonna keep this on our 15th fret on B string, and we're gonna be bending on 14 on G string. Okay? Of course, you can just mess with the tempo here, if you play it correctly. Okay? Okay, now you're gonna do just a... You're gonna do... And then, actually, you're doing the same thing you did here, but here, just to get a cleaner tone, because, well, that sounds better here. You can just play it here, too. But I highly recommend you use your tremolo here. Okay, let's play that again.
Then you're gonna do the same thing again. Something like this. Last thing we did was... Okay, from now on it's just really easy, you just gotta practice playing fast. So we're gonna pick a G note. You hear this? It's like, uh, have a cigar. Should we cover that too? Just vote on Patreon. So again. Uh, just follow the tempo here. I don't know how many I should do, but in the middle of there somewhere, you're gonna do something that I showed you. And then you're gonna do Okay, I don't know how many repeats you gotta do, but just follow the tempo and uh, somewhere in the middle you're gonna bend your 15th fret on a high E, a full step. Okay, so the song actually finishes here on the original, but I've kept playing just a, just a tad longer. So let's play that again. Uh, the last thing we did was... You're gonna do a little... So how can you improvise here, like... Not sure, just play E minor pentatonic, man. Again, I did my part probably. I finished the song for you. Like I said, I don't remember how I played, so I can't just show you just play this or that, just improvise a little. So how can we finish the solo like Or something like, just like my cover. And then you're gonna play the chord progression. It's actually E minor and C. Something like this. Just check my tabs and get the backing track on Patreon. I just improvised that and I encourage you to do the same. Like I said, solo actually finishes here. We go to fade out and Rick plays this. That was terrible. Okay, look at my glasses. This is how I serve you guys with this humidity. I don't actually wear glasses. Join me on Patreon to vote for the next one. Give me ideas on how to improve these videos. Access the tabs, backing tracks, tone guides for that amazing tone. Honestly, if there's a better tone in YouTube, I'm gonna quit this. Again, just vote for the next one on Patreon and I'll see you guys in the next one.